Itavia Flight 870's reassembled fuselage reveals a new hole at the back of the plane. It appears to have been caused by a bomb. Yes, well, we know what that is. Investigators study more wreckage from that part of the plane. What have we got here? <laughs> well, look at you. The steel wash basin has been bent upwards by an explosion, just what investigators would expect to see if a bomb exploded in the rear lavatory. Yeah. The more we discovered, the more they all pointed back to an explosion in the rear toilet area. Taylor and his team finally have enough evidence to say what brought down Itavia Flight 870. I think it was a bomb. There's just one more test they need to do to be sure. OK, let's blow it up and see what happens. Investigators place explosives inside a DC lavatory to test their theory that a bomb brought down Flight Three, 870. Two, one. <laughs> if the shattered pieces match Flight 870's debris... OK, let's go see how we did. ...it will provide strong evidence that they're right. The explosion creates distinctive damage. It's nearly identical to what was seen in the debris from the laboratory of Flight 870. OK, measure that one, will you? Yep. We were absolutely sure, yes. Yes, no, no, no doubt. The evidence can't reveal who planted the bomb, but investigators now have a good idea where it was placed. Based on the physical evidence, the aircraft's last radar return, and the location of debris, investigators now have a clear picture of Flight 870's final moments. Itavia 870. Call back for descent. Thank you for everything. We'll call you for descent 870. What? It was an explosion close to the pylon of the right-hand engine, which caused the right-hand engine to come off. In less than 10 seconds, the plane breaks apart and plunges into the sea.